back. <laughs> you guys are on top of the gorgeous Lambo with the new blue wrap. The it blue. looks so incredible. SPJ. It's one of my favorites. This blue is so, so gorgeous. Everyone who sees it in person is like stunned. It's really, really cool. So we are going to be working with dating.com once again because you guys seem to really love it. So we're partnering up with them again because it always goes over really well. The feedback in the comment section is really great and you guys really seem to be having fun with it, which is yeah, really cool. They love the responses. They love the responses and, and that means that you guys do too, which is really awesome. So dating.com, this is a perfect ad for this video because we're talking about the earth and I of course got the earth for you for Valentine's Day. My Valentine uh, got her earth on Valentine's Day and of course Valentine's Day is right about now, um, somewhere around when this video goes live. Uh, so if you are like us and you value a relationship the most out of anything in the world, which we do, we love to travel together, uh, share our life experiences together, uh, then you might want to try dating.com. So the website is very easy to use, which is very important to me because I'm very bad with technology. <laughs> so it's easy for you all to use and the women reach out first, which is really cool yeah, in my guys, opinion. you don't have to make the first move. Yeah, so this is the perfect time to get on there and start dating. Even on Valentine's Day, you can get on there and have fun. And I just think it's the perfect time for us to be doing this. And I was really excited that they reached out. And the profiles are authenticated by dating.com. So you know you're talking to Very a real person. Cool. Well, Ladesh is here, so that's my cue. But again, guys, definitely try dating.com. Link will be down below. And uh, find yourself that important significant other. Have fun, you guys. So Mike's gonna leave me. Goodbye. And I'm gonna be talking to you all about the Urus. This is a really special upload and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go do my goodbyes because they're gonna be loud for the next couple minutes and then I'll get back to you guys whenever they head out. So I thought sitting down for the first part of the video would be really nice. So it's just nice and cozy and a warm feel. Instead of being out in the garage and stuff, we will go out there later on. I'm gonna show you guys the car and everything. But I kind of just wanted to sit down and chit chat for a second about some memories and how special the car is to me and everything so like Mike said it has been two years since he has gifted this car to me and I cannot even believe that it's so crazy I also cannot even believe that I have that car sitting out there in my garage that is just one of the craziest things in the whole entire world to me growing up I was around a lot of cars and everything I worked on cars with my dad and we went to car shows together so I really do enjoy cars a lot I love fast I love loud I just love everything about them it's really they're a lot of fun so I have always dreamt of having a Lamborghini of course honestly though who hasn't they are just the best and it's typically a very big dream car for a kid whenever they announced the SUV the Urus I was so excited because in my adult years, I have really been into SUVs. I had just a little car for my first car and then I really wanted to start moving into SUVs. I like just having more room and everything, especially with my business, having cakes and stuff. It's nicer to have a bigger car, but I just am very much into the SUV style, the look of them, the comfort of them, everything like that. So. Whenever Lamborghini announced the Urus, I was so flipping excited. I remember freaking out and just, I was so, so excited. And Mike was like, oh, I don't really like it. I don't like that they made an SUV. And he just, he wasn't about it. He was not a believer and I was a dreamer. I loved it. I loved everything about it. And I just had pictures of it. I would watch videos on it and all sorts of stuff. My dream color was always yellow. I always wanted yellow with black wheels. I think any any color car with black wheels looks incredible. So yellow was definitely always my dream color for this car. So I was sitting here thinking about all the things that this car has been through and there is so, so much. So obviously the first one on my mind is the fact that it jumped over a whole nother Lamborghini and that is just so 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 wild it is Mike's most it's his second most viewed video which is crazy we talked about it for a while it was like a plan and everything and um, it was never like for sure I never thought it was really gonna happen and if it was going to I wanted to be there I wanted to maybe even be in the car but one morning I woke up my car was gone Mike was gone didn't think anything of it I had a lot of work to do so I got to work he came home and he was like I did it and I was like I was so upset I wasn't there to see it, but he told me, he was like, it's probably best that you weren't. He was so nervous. I think he just wanted to get it over with because he was scared, I think. Um, and I probably would have made the situation worse because I would have um, 
probably been freaking out a little bit. I mean, how could you not? But that is the biggest thing that that car has done. So crazy. And it's also done plenty of racing in its time. It raced a Hellcat. It raced a TRX. I think it even raced maybe the ZR1 at one point. Two years. It's kind of getting a little hazy. So much happens. But... It's definitely had some fun racing and going fast and doing its job. It's had some photo shoots, of course, and it's been a part of a huge, huge surprise that changed somebody's life, which is me. So it was a part of a very big Valentine's Day surprise. It did a huge jump. It's been a part of racing. It's been in photo shoots, and it's just been a whole lot of fun all around. And those are some really huge core things that have happened the jump really broke the internet for a little bit. It was on news articles and stuff, just really crazy. It was all over Facebook, all over Instagram, TikTok, it was wild. So very, very cool. So I think that's all of the rambling. I just kind of wanted to show like the big moments and pop them up on the screen and stuff. I thought that that would be a lot of fun. Um, but I do want to head out to the garage and show you guys the car and everything and talk about a few things that I love and a few things that I might not really love that much. I was going to incorporate like me watching the video of Mike giving me the car with you guys, but I don't even know if that's going to be good. Like I'm about to cry right now. The thought of that video, I've only ever watched it like three times because I just completely lose it. I can't even watch it. And literally just me thinking about it. You guys are going to think I'm crazy. But um, it really chokes me up. It's a lot to process still two years later. Um, it was a lot to take in and it still is a lot to take in um, for how just amazing Mike is and how much he gives to others and how amazing he treats me. And he's just the best guy ever and I'm not gonna get mushy or anything on here because he already knows it he doesn't need to hear it through YouTube but um he just is really absolutely amazing and he's just the best thing that could have ever happened to me and not because of the car but just because of how perfect he is in every single way um the car is just a really nice bonus that we both enjoy together <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think watching the video together would be really stupid because I would just be crying and I don't even know if it would be fun to watch. <laughs> so yeah, we will head out to the garage and I will show you guys a little bit of the car. Star of the show out here in its living space. But here is the Lambo wrap. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it is so perfect. I am obsessed. I love it so much. I'm sorry, I'm not going outside. My vision for this video was to be outside with the sun beating down and for it to be nice and warm and do a really nice video outside for you guys. But instead, it's really cold and windy, so I have all the doors closed and now it's gonna be echoey for you guys. I'm sorry about that. So the car is pretty clean right now. I just got it detailed like a few weeks ago by CR Detailing. They do such a phenomenal job. I love the work that they do. I've been really trying to avoid driving it on the salt. It makes me cringe like crazy. Crazy, but just yesterday I had to run a few errands and I went through lots of muddy disgusting puddles and now there's gross stuff all over the car and it makes me so sad it's like terrible seeing your car dirty it's the worst I'm probably gonna go again soon just because it got pretty dirty and of course the girls make it dirty pretty fast with their hair and stuff um, but it hasn't been too bad lately I've made a new rule they don't sit up front with me anymore in their car seats they actually sit in the back seat I think it is much safer and they both can just relax back here in their little like buckled up car seats and stuff and um, I used to have a hammock here for Savannah because she shed a lot, but I don't use that for the girls. They don't need it. And I also have a seat cover for the front seat, but Pig hasn't been sitting up front with me, so I just took it off and it's in the trunk. Um, but yeah, a lot of people get mad that I have my dogs in here. The first like month or two of me owning this car, I did not drive it to work. I only drove it like once, like a week. I was too scared to drive it. I wanted it to just stay perfect. I never wanted anybody to touch it. I didn't want my dogs in it. I didn't want to do deliveries in it. I just wanted it to stay as perfect as ever. And um, Mike told me, he was like, this is your car. Like this is intended to be your daily and I want you to enjoy it. And cars are meant to be driven and enjoyed and used. So I got over it. I sold my old car and I use this every day and it is just perfection it's so comfortable and it is such a perfect daily one big plus is the trunk is huge I'm pretty sure I have a little carpet back here but with my Toyota wedding cakes would not fit in the trunk believe it or not so um, this trunk is amazing for delivering cakes 
and it is huge and spacious and amazing and perfect and I guarantee you it fit lots and lots of luggage. Um, we haven't taken a full blown trip in here where we need to put luggage in it and stuff. But a big bucket list thing for this car is I wanna take it to Colorado so bad. Mike and I talk about it all the time. It'd be awesome to drive it around out there on the roads and take pictures. Oh my gosh, it's a huge bucket list for this gorgeous babe right here. But the one negative that I wanted to tell you guys, now it hasn't happened for a very long time. It happened the first year of me owning it and the front sensor is like really big um, and it's very touchy. So I was driving home one day, I was pulling onto our street so I was turning in front of traffic that was coming towards me and I was going about 30 miles an hour so pretty fast to come to a complete stop and my car just completely stopped. Alarms were going off, this big brake sign came up. It was freaking out and I was like, what the heck? Cause I was pressing the gas um, and everything like locked up. It was super crazy. I was able to get out of the way and everything in time but it was really scary. So Mike called our friend Randy and asked him about it cause he has slash had an arrest at the time and he was asking him and he's like, I've never heard of that. My sensor's definitely like touchy so he turned off like a bunch of switches and everything. Um, but we like did so many different things and that wasn't working cause it happened two weeks later. So we were talking to Tina and everything and Lamborghini and it was just like this whole thing and we were cleaning the sensor off and knock on wood, it hasn't happened since then. Like it was touchy like three separate times but it hasn't happened since then but it would just like completely stop. And it was like really scary cause you were not ready for it cause there was nothing in front of you. And I think that is the only complaint I have of this car. Other than that, it's totally perfect but that was just really odd. Um, and then one last thing is, I guess I should share the name of it. I believe that you should always name your vehicles and your boat, of course, because it's bad luck if you don't. I'm still trying to teach Mike that it's definitely bad luck and he needs to start naming his vehicles, but the name is very basic. It is Bumblebee, obviously because of the color yellow and because of Transformers, and I just thought it was fitting, and I couldn't think of anything else, because at the beginning I was calling it by that a lot before I named it. Um, so it just seemed fitting and yeah, so that's the car's name <laughs> in the comments below Leave your car's names. I want to read through them I know a lot of people have very unique names and stuff and I want to see them um, But that's really it for this upload. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it wasn't I tried to make it interesting I'm gonna put stuff on the screen and everything for you all the girls are being lazy and sleeping away cute as ever but yeah that's it for this upload so it's the two year mark i cannot believe it so a lot of you guys probably saw um the upload of him giving it to me i actually uploaded it on this channel got a lot of hate for that because i re-uploaded his video but i wanted it on the family channel for like new viewers and stuff to see that special memory and this has like lots of memories and traveling and stuff on this channel so i wanted to have that special moment on the channel and everything to always be able to look back at so it's like right there so that's why i did it and i also edited it just a teeny tiny bit a little different but not very much so a lot of people got mad about that but um i don't care i'm just glad it's up on this channel so i can always have that forever and ever just with like all of our family memories and stuff it is wild i cannot believe i've had that car for two years and it has been nothing but perfect i love it so much it is the best of the best i literally look forward to coming home from vacations just so i can come home and drive my car again because i have so much fun just listening to music and driving around um of course i don't want to like leave the beach but i de there's definitely like that element of being like yeah you get to go home and be with my car and drive my car and stuff it's really cool having that to look forward to and everything. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next upload. Bye guys.